Tenton City needs 233 pounds of coffee, and I'm trying to get the word out on Facebook, oh, social media. We won't talk about the waste of time spent on that. Over seven and a half years at my present job and three bosses so far, every week feels like the death knell, though. Four weeks in a row, I've stuffed 800 envelopes for a customer mailing. Two paper cuts. At least I have a job. Three years and three months since we closed on the house. Three years and eight months since the last home burnt down, which meant five months back at my dad's. Two adults already sick of each other in one room. Fifteen years since I graduated high school. Still feel very much the wallflower. One friend who stayed constant since then. One friend rediscovered. As for friends now, I've lost count. Yeah. And this last one, it started as a poem, but it's kind of morphed since then. I'm not quite sure what it is anymore. But um, it, uh, it's inspired by being upstairs um, in one of the big rooms at Architectural Artifacts. And um, one of the rooms, it's filled with a, all these old doors and old sashes and all that stuff. And um, just stacked up one against each other. And then the light, or the, all the windows at the one end of the room um, are covered over outside with ivy. And the one of them, the ivy is poked in through. And I took a couple pictures of it, and um, I've been thinking about what it meant to me since then. But it's called In With The Out Crowd. Light filters through a luminous green shade, organic stained glass with stems as living caming. I am standing inside, looking at this miracle of beauty, so simple in its explanation and so complex in light and form and texture. I am standing in a room full of old doors waiting to be put back on hinges, lovely but useless. The window I stare out of is curtained with ivy, clutching to the brick edifice of the building with desperate delicacy. Time has allowed cracks and crevices to form. Cracks and crevices have allowed tenacious tendrils to poke around the sashes of the window. Part of the vine has softy shelter of inside. Shelter from rain, pollutants, harsh winds, scorching sun, random insects. This part of the vine has withered. Brown leaves hang from brittle stems. And outside, the vine flourishes. Inside, the doors in the vine languish. All that grows inside is dust. De inside is death, or purgatory, or the limbo before reincarnation the waiting to be while existing. Outside, in the noise of the street, in the air of the city, in the light of a fall afternoon, the vine that remained outside moves in the breeze. The curtain parts a little, and the view between the leaves is mundane, just another brick building, except for the way it is framed. Inside, outside. I am an outsider. As a child, at school, as an adult, at work, at church, with family. Looking at the vine, I remember the times I sought to be inside, the things I said and did, the death I felt from being so unnatural, all to feel the shelter I imagine inside offered. I stand in green light and think about the darkness into which longing for inside plunges me. Outside is pain. Harsh wind, scorching sun, polluted air. I have been food for random insects. But outside is also life, its vibrancy and growth and common purpose and individuality. Each leaf does its living as it was made to do, all while part of a vast tangling network that moves with the wind, filters the air and light, and survives it all. <clears throat> outside is where all the people who matter to me live and move and have their being. Pastors <clears throat> unsatisfied with the status quo who decided to help heal brokenness instead of perform plastic surgery. Artists who choose poverty so their works might live outside of them instead of withering inside. Recovering alcoholics and drug addicts who now spend their time feeding habits of love. Teachers who push to be allowed to teach instead of babysit. Women and men finding themselves outside of relationships meant to be forever, but are shooting new roots in every direction, touching more and more lives. Jewish, Irish, Mennonite gypsies who defy description. Dumpster divers who create sanctuaries strung with lights and mismatched chairs, 
tucked between vacant buildings and river, and more, so many more. And in being outside, I find my inside. I discover purpose and community. I see myself replicated in a thousand different ways, a thousand different shades of the same verdancy of life. Speaking of Jewish Mennonites, would that Jewish Mennonite like to sign up? Yeah, you would. Put him on right now. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Okay. Before the drill break, real quick. Hurry up. You want me to put him on? Get him out of the way. You really want me to put him on right now? I don't think he wants to go right now. I'm sure he wrote another original oh, song. <laughs> yeah, whatever he wants. That's good. The crowd's requesting that you go right now. Right now, hurry up. Would you like to go right, right now? Anastasia. Yeah, this is yeah, something about Anastasia. But I would go now. All right, all right, all right. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Sugar Dr. Dre making rhymes every day about the pimping and the play. But the fear became hilarious and nothing like nefarious when the Mexican gangs make menudo from your brains. Yeah, I heard it all before. You mocking Coltrane and John Lee Hooker like your stuttering words somehow got us all snookered. But everyone knows that is everyone from school. Everyone knows you are a talentless fool. Play no guitar, play no horn, play no drum set, no keyboard. And the greatest outrage upon human hearing rings when we all come to realize you can't even sing. <laughs> I mixed the tape with Elvis and Davis Sammy, sold from this. Some, stole some nicks from Dion Warwick and won myself a Grammy. Won myself a Grammy. <laughs> and in case you're not sure which poets of which I speak, no talent rhyming rabbits and their names are. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right, never mind. All right, right, never mind. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And in case you know yes, not which poets I chop. No talent rhyming rabbits, and their names are hip and hop. That would be uh, 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 Kid Rock and uh, um, Eight Mile Kid. What's his name? Eminem. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, right. It was just off the top of the pile. Come on, give me a break. It was just off the top of the pile. I had no time to get a There's a bistro within the walls of the Casa Marina where the flying aces once boasted. An Irish whiskey flowed with chocolate squares and fighting words, and the harlots breathed among the scarlet drapery by the cigar box and coughed. All right, real quick. Oh, 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 oh